So hey guys, uh, Sherry Ann Richardson from Experimental Homestead or Exotic Gardening, SherryAnnRichardson.com and biannual blogathon bash.com and welcome to our daily vlog. Um, I'm really tired today. Jeff has gone to take a nap. Um, both of us were up for 24 hours straight and we got maybe four or five hours worth of sleep and then we had to be up again and it was a good thing we got up. Um, because we got the U-Haul back about maybe half an hour to 45 minutes before it was due back. So had we not got up, we definitely would not have got back on time. Um, and they had actually called because they had it reserved for someone else at the time that we were told to drop it off. So everything worked out. Um, it didn't actually cost her that much to bring it from Fort Wayne to Marion. She said a little over $17 in gas. So that's not bad. Um, of course, you have to factor in the cost of running it, which I don't know what that cost. Um, but gas-wise, as big as those are, they are definitely improving on gas mileage. I was expecting the gas bill to be $60 to $80 or better because um, that's what it was the last time we rented one and we were just moving here in town but we actually used an entire tank of gas so um and of course gas prices have changed and i'm sure they have more up-to-date vehicles than what they did back then uh that get better gas mileage but anyway everything except a few things are in storage uh she's outside right now watching the chickens and they are in their pen and her youngest daughter is up there playing and she's up there. So as soon as I get the vlog done and uploaded, I'm going to go into the other room, which was my office previously. And I'm going to start going through stuff and clearing stuff out. The holiday stuff, if Sarah doesn't want it, I have decided to give to a friend of mine because I don't have storage space. I need to clear these areas out in order to give them their own private area in the house. And anyway, I need to get rid of the clutter. I mean, that's just, that's really the bottom line. This clutter needs to go. And I've been putting it off, you know, I, it's needed done since Jerry passed away and since Larry passed away. And that was back in 2013. And instead of the clutter getting out of the house, I look at it, it gets moved around, it gets put someplace else, and it's still here. So I think this is my perfect motivation to get the crap out of here. You know, um, the stuff nobody wants can just be donated. I mean, that's just, you know, let somebody else have it. I don't even want to fool with selling it. I know I probably could, but I don't want to fool with it. I just want the clutter gone so that we can finish the remodeling of the house, which was started back in 2012. And um, what he didn't get done literally hasn't got done. So... Like I said, I'm using this as my motivation of it's time. Let's just do this. Um, I will be so much happier afterwards. And I think my daughter will too, because she really needs a place where she can go and not have to worry about making noise after Jeff is in bed and a place where she can have company and have private conversations and, you know, just kind of get away. Because when you, when two people, no matter how much they like each other, um, live in the same house, it can get difficult. Um, everybody does things a little bit differently and, um, there can be conflicts and things, and I really don't want to have that. Um, I want to be able to let everybody have their space because I think that's how it should be. And I know that, you know, coming up the end of the week, I've got a presentation to give. So I've got to get ready for that. And with the vlog and the blog and everything like that, I too need to be able to concentrate and, um, you know, I am used to being here by myself all the time. So this is going to be an adjustment, but one that I'm 
happy to make. So anyway, uh, that's the vlog for today. Please subscribe, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments below. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a wonderful night.